This is a quick demonstration of uh, using uh, Freonce Mobile for CityWorks configuration system. We want to add a map to our CityWorks application. Not only do we want to go and hit map resources or uh, CityWorks records like service requests, work orders, inspections, but we also want to attach map assets, view the map, identify, so forth. So here we go. Uh, what we're going to do is uh, in our CityWorks configuration and we'll bring up an existing one we'll have under the map tab we need to let's create a new one we'll just call it test we need to add a map resource to it so here I'm in a new CityWorks configuration under the map tab it says what's your map resource so we need to create a map resource first and that is right over here okay let's go into that map resource here we go we'll add a new one we'll come in and say what's our type of GIS service well it's .NET ArcGIS server 10.1 uh, the address let's type in the address where it's sitting this will be an internal IP or external IP, which your port it's almost always 80. Server instance, uh, make sure you put in your server instance default as ArcGIS server. Uh, we can then test by using list available services whether we have these parameters set up correctly. And if we do, we'll get a list, just as we show here, of map services in that ArcGIS service. So let's go ahead and uh, grab this one right here. See if it's a valid one. And Freonce is going to give you a little preview here. And at this time, we probably want to go name it. We'll just go uh, uh, Freonce Mobile CityWorks Test Map. Okay, there we go. So let's go ahead and add that. Apply, hit apply. Now we want to do a couple things here. Uh, probably most importantly is set our uh, projection. So France is going to try to guess what that projection is. Hit search if it throws out a suggestion. And yes, it's Ohio State Plain South. Uh, what we can do is if it doesn't throw out a suggestion, we can say, well, it's Ohio. Let's search for Ohio to give me my results here. And I pick the one I want. Survey foot, Ohio, NAT 83, south. We'll grab it. Uh, here's my maps underneath it, or my layers underneath it, and how they're defaulted on. So at this point, I'm done. We can just go ahead and hit apply. You can test whether you got the projection right. Put your cursor on the map, leave it going check your lat long see if that makes sense for your neck of the woods other than that we hit apply we hit save now there's a couple things we want to do to that map service let's bring it back up just open it up again and uh, just showing you there it is so let's go ahead and hit apply again and at this point we are ready to add that to our CityWorks configuration it was that quick so we'll go into test and here's our map and I'm just going to go pull down and open up that map service and use that map okay there we go now this is the only part where there's a little configuration I'll show you the most important things if we're using a phone we probably want to go with a big overlap if we're using a tablet very important to go to a little overlap that's for speed I recommend 1.1 for tablets uh, probably the most important thing is if we want to attach base layers we need to do selections we need to select features to attach them to records so let's come in here and select a hydrant so now we can identify hydrant and attach that to a work order service request 
I don't want to grab every hundred hydrant within a hundred feet, maybe only every hydrant within 25 feet. How do I want to display it when it shows up? How about uh, facility ID? What's the layering? Well, let's hydrant. Okay, we can get a little more thick in here. We can modify the attributes. I don't want people to see object ID. Maybe I want to fit clean these up a little. And I want to come in here and say these date ranges are dates so they display correctly. So you can get the idea there. So add a selection for every one feature you want to add to a map asset you want to select. Same way I just did there. So we'll let people select meters and hydrants. Okay. Always handy to turn on the GPS follow me. That's the blue dot that comes up and lets people drive down the street and have the map follow them very easy. Just hit enable. Uh, we won't go into smart forms. That's how you search. And uh, base layers is how you manage the layers. Other, if you don't do anything here, it will just follow your default layer scale in ArcGIS server. So I'm done. I've now got, if I hit apply, a map icon in my Freelance Mobile for CityWorks device app. It's that easy. Uh, go in and do a map, create a map resource, and then come into CityWorks configuration under the map tab, add it, do your selections.